This video will show you how to use the auto solo wheel alignment toe plates to measure toe angles, steer ahead angles, and thrust angles. Follow the steps in this video carefully to ensure accuracy and efficiency. Before starting, park on a level surface, and drive on to turn plates if available. Next, center the steering wheel and use a steering wheel holder to lock it in place. If you do not have a steering wheel level, go to the back of the driver's seat and check that the steering wheel is centered by siding down the line. Now, line up the first toe plate and set it on the front tire. Make sure the center line of the hub matches the etched line on the toe plate. Repeat the procedure on the other side with the second toe plate. Next, take the measuring tapes, run both ends to the other side, and hook them into one of the slots. Then, set both measuring tapes in the same slot on your side, this is what the back side looks like. To check the toe measurements, pull back the measuring tape and record the length. Here, it shows 76 and 6 16 of an inch in the back, and 76 and 5 16 of an inch in the front. Referring to the conversion chart under inches, the difference of 1 16 of an inch equates to 0.16 degrees toe in, which meets manufacturer specifications for this Chevy half ton. To measure the steer head angle, we'll use the string kit included in your toe plates kit. Start by tying off the string to an object near the center line of the vehicle. If you do not have anything to tie off to, place a heavy object on the center line behind your vehicle to secure the string. Run the string around your rear tires through a tread at a height of about 7.5 inches, and through the loops on the toe plates around the front tires. The loops have a cutout for you to insert the string. Tie off the string to the same object and make sure the line is snug and tight. To measure the steer head angle, measure the distance between the string and the rear of the toe plates on both sides. If there is a difference in distance, the steer head angle is not centered. In our vehicle, the driver side measures 7 eighths of an inch, while the passenger side measures 5 eighths of an inch. To center the steer head angle, the rear toe of the passenger side wheel needs to move inward by 1 eighth of an inch, and the rear toe of the driver side wheel needs to move outward by 1 eighth of an inch, resulting in both sides measuring 6 eighths of an inch. To make this adjustment, loosen the nut on the tire rod and turn it about 3 quarters of a turn shorter. Check the measurements to confirm the adjustment, and you can see that the distance of the string from the plate has moved from 7 eighths of an inch to 6 eighths of an inch. Next, go to the passenger side and repeat the process, but this time rotate the tire rod 3 quarters of a turn in the opposite direction to make it longer. Check the measurements again to confirm, and you'll see that the distance of the string from the plate has changed from 5 eighths of an inch to 6 eighths of an inch. The vehicle's steer ahead angle is now aligned. It is recommended to recheck the toe angles after making any adjustments. Finally, we'll check the thrust angle of the vehicle, which ensures the rear wheels are aligned with the vehicle's center line. To measure this, repeat the same process as with the front wheels. Move the driver side toe plate to the passenger side rear wheel, and the passenger side toe plate to the driver side rear wheel. Insert the string into the loops, and measure the distance between the string and the rear part of the toe plate. You have now successfully aligned the toe angles, steer ahead angle, and thrust angle. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. For detailed instructions, check out the full video on the Mr. DIY Guy 123 YouTube channel.